For this, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our members, and then we can see under the steel, we have the anchor rod add. If I select this, it's going to ask me to locate where I want that. Well, I could select the same point twice, and we could go in and fill out this information. So we could go in and specify that it's straight, the anchor rod diameter, what piece mark prefix do we want, the steel grade, the sequence, if it's graphical or galvanized, and then we can go in and specify our overall length, which in this case would be one foot six, our thread lengths, which is gonna be three, the projection above base plate is at three inches, our projection above concrete, which is just gonna be the three inches plus whatever our thickness is. So I'm gonna go 4.5. Our base plate thickness is inch and a half. And then the grout thickness. In this case, maybe if I zero that out, we can see it takes some of those fields out or makes those not pink. And then our embed length. So that's gonna be from the bottom of the base plate to the bottom of the anchor rod. In this case, it's going to be that one foot six minus four and a half. So it'd be one foot one and one half. As soon as I click out of that, we can see that is all good to go now. We could come in and specify our top nuts, the intermediate nut, and then the top washer, intermediate washer, the rod types, the bottom thread, our bottom thread length, the projection below material and our bottom washers and bottom nuts. If I were to add it this way, I could say okay here and then copy that anchor bolt around, or I have an easier tool that we just need to add to one of our ribbons. So in this case, I'll hit cancel. We'll go to our customize option for our rolls. We'll wanna edit the detailer modeling go to the ribbon configuration and hit the edit button. For this, maybe we want to add this inside of our members area as well. So I'll go to my members page. And if I wanted to, I could add this right to our steel section. So I'll change our section here to steel. And then I can either search for an item or go to the menu item group. But in this case, I'm gonna search anchor and we can see we have a couple different tools here. We have an anchor rod tool or add sag rods as anchor rods. In this case, I'm just gonna use the anchor rod tool. So I'll just hit this little plus icon there. We can see it's listed here in our section and we can see if I expand the steel, we see that in there now. I'm gonna go ahead and close this and then I'm gonna save yes. I'll say okay here. And now if I go to my members, we can see it does show that under steel now. For this, I'll expand this out, select our anchor rod tool, and then this is gonna ask me how I wanna select this to add our anchor rods. In this case, I'm gonna leave that at member, and I'm gonna go ahead and say okay. If we take a look at our status line here, it says select column to add anchor rod. I can do this on a one by one basis, or if I zoom all the way out, I can window around all 16 columns that are in here. I'll select all of those and hit enter on the keyboard. And now we can see I'm adding anchor rods for inch and a half thick plates with the piece marks of BP1. It is a very similar window. However, in this case now, I can just go one foot six, our thread length, maybe I will leave that at six. It doesn't really call out our threads at the top. What is our projection above base plate? That is just gonna be three. The projection above concrete. If I go four and a half here, so if I just went 4.5, because of our grout thickness of one, that wouldn't be correct. So maybe I wanna call that out as 5.5. Our embed length would then be our overall length minus our projection above concrete. So that's gonna be one foot O, 
and one half and now we can see everything is good to go. Again I could specify the top of base plate nut, the top of base plate washer, the bottom of base plate nut and washer. We can specify each of our nut types and each of our washer types here. In this case I'm just gonna say OK and now it added all of those to the BP1s. Now we're looking at those that have a piece mark of BP2. In this case, we are just using the same typical anchor rod. So in this case, it's going to be one foot six. Our thread length will leave at six. The projection above base plate is three. Our projection above concrete. So maybe I want that again to be our projection above base plate plus our plate thickness, which is one plus the grout thickness. So that's going to be five. And then our embed is one foot one. Again, I could go in and make any changes to this. Maybe I wanted a different type. I wanted it hooked instead of a straight or a stud. In this case, I do want it straight. So I'm just going to say OK. And then we have our anchor rods for our three quarter inch thick plates. Again, the overall length, I'll go one foot six. We'll leave our thread length at six inches. We'll leave our projection above base plate as three inches. Our projection above concrete, again, is three plus the three quarters. Plus, in this case, maybe I want it that uh, one inch, so that'd be four and three quarters. And then our embed will go one foot six minus four and three quarters. So that's going to be one foot one and one quarter. As soon as I tab out, those fields turn back to white. Say OK. And then we have the last ones for our BP4 which is the inch and a quarter thick plate. So again, one foot six. The threads are fine at six inches. The projection above base plate is three inches. The projection above concrete, I'll go three plus inch and a quarter plus one inch for grout thickness. So in this case, that would be five and a quarter. And then our embed thickness is gonna be one foot O oh and three quarters. I'll say OK. And then it's going to ask me if I want to add another group of anchor rods. In this case, I'll go ahead and say no.